European Society for Medical Oncology is launching a survey to uh, report on the status of anti-cancer drugs across Europe. Why are we doing that? ESMO is committed to uh, timely and efficient treatment for, uh, for all the patients across Europe. Now, one component in the multidisciplinary uh, approach to the patient is uh, access to drugs. Drug access is impacted by several issues. Uh, although we have in Europe a uniformous approval process for drugs in oncology in general, reimbursement is a different issue because that's uh, different from st state to state. So we have heterogeneity in which concerns reimbursement of uh, drugs across Europe. Then there is the recent uh, problem of drug shortages across Europe, which means that recently very efficient I would say cheap drugs, but essential for curing some uh, some cancer uh, uh, types, are missing because of various uh, various reasons, mainly manufacturing and loss of interest from uh, pharma companies. Thirdly, there are barriers in access to uh, more expensive drugs due to uh, limitations in resources across different countries. So what ESMO is trying to do is actually to have a mapping of drug uh, approval status, reimbursement status, but also availability in the pharmacy or in the hospital for the patient across Europe to be able to offer to the EU uh, health authorities a comprehensive picture in order that they can plan actions to level those inequalities existing. There is no comprehensive map of what the current situation is in Europe and actually this situation is changing because uh, there are a number of uh, drug shortages that are resolved as we speak. So, but there is, in, there is no comprehensive mapping of what patients can access throughout Europe, although we are all aware there is a great heterogeneity. In designing and implementing the survey we're really building on the back of uh, the experience we've had in evaluating the availability and accessibility and the cost, out-of-pocket cost for opioids both in Europe and then lo looking at a further um, 104 countries and states around the world. So we really have a, quite an extensive experience with this sort of research. Um, the, method the methodology involves identifying a number of field reporters, of credible field reporters in each country to have them um, feed us the data, to cross-correlate the data to make sure that we have consistency in the reporting for each country, and then to, to tabulate all of this data and colour code it. So what we're going to what we're going to end up with is very cl clear colour coded charts that, that are going to make the differences between countries very very visible. We think we're likely to see some some really interesting heterogeneity between the different countries and some of which is going to be really important in terms of future policy development and resource allocation. One of the critical issues about healthcare public policy and cancer care public policy is the need for really good data at ground level at each of the EU member states, EU28. Um, and the ESMO survey is going to be absolutely critical to really understand what sort of cancer drugs are being made available at member state level and to which populations and how that is being balanced out against out of pocket expenditure compared to reimbursement from the state. And it's going to fit very much in with the work that's going on elsewhere in terms of looking at pricing of drugs across Europe and the broader macroeconomic issues in the sense of affordability of cancer care, which is obviously much wider than simply medicines. It's also the costs of surgery, radiotherapy and diagnostics. So in terms of providing a really comprehensive public policy map to national level individuals and representatives and also at European level, it's going to be absolutely critical. The, the, the field reporters that we're going to be identifying will not only be doctors, some will also be oncology pharmacists. Um, I, th I think that many of the oncologists who are going to be giving us information may be specialists in, one sp in some specific disease entities but we're really trying to collect data across a range of the common solid tumours that, 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 that oncologists treat. So in some cases, we're going to be asking these reporters to be getting, collecting details for us outside of their specific area 
of, of daily expertise. And, and in that, there'll, there'll certainly be a learning curve. I think that engaging clinicians in issues related to public policy is, 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 is in itself a really important process. I think that um, clinicians need to see their role beyond just the development, the, 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 the treatment of the individual patients attending their clinics, but rather to the, to the, that they have a role in attending to the wider issues of uh, service delivery um, on as broad and as equitable basis as possible.